fantastic to be here. Welcome to this next session. It's going so well here at uh, India Global Forum. I think you have to sit in that one. Uh, that it's hard to imagine what a turbulent world it is out there. So buckle up for our next session, Masterclass on Navigating Turbulent Times. It is a challenging time for many people, including entrepreneurs. And to help us understand, we've got five fantastic uh, founders, six in fact, who are going to come up and share their experiences of growing businesses. But to set the scene, we have one of South Asia's top venture capitalist, managing director. I'm, I'm beefing you up here. You've got a lot to live up to, Shalindra. Managing director of Sequoia India, Southwest Asia, and Singapore. Shalindra Singh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very honored to be here. So turbulent times, most parts of the world. But I think you've got a slightly different um, view on this. What are the founders that you've invested in, that you've been speaking to say about what life is like at the moment? Yeah, and first, thank you. I'm very honored to be here. Thank you for, for having me on stage. Um, and uh, the word masterclass is scary, by the way. Nobody knows, OK? <laughs> on on uh, building, building a, you know, a great business, an enduring company, um, there's no there's no master class possible for it, but I will try to sh to to th thank you for um, uh, f for pointing in that direction. Uh, you know, my view is, and maybe I'll start with an anecdote. We recently went through what we call a portfolio review inside inside the building uh, at Sequoia. In our portfolio review, our finance team has normally assembled financials of hundreds of our portfolio companies in the region in India, Southeast Asia, and then we go through it with about you know, a couple of dozen of us. And it, it's a two-day exercise where we, where we review every single company. Mm. And the sponsor will say, hey, how are things going? And let me give an update. And I went in a little worried, you know, thinking like, hey, I'm going to hear a lot of bad news this cycle. And you know, discover that a lot of companies are missing plans and so on. And then when the two days finished, we were like, hey, where's the downturn memo? Like, lo looks like founders didn't get any memo right. that there's any downturn here. Now, so, so I think the demand side. It's interesting. Yeah, so, so, well, they did get the memo that they should cut costs and so on, but the demand side is very strong hmm. in India and Southeast Asia. So, you know, I, I think what we realized is, you know, um, there is a slowdown in the funding environment, but there's no slowdown in the business, the pace of company building. And most companies are actually executing pretty strongly. Um, and then if you step back, you know, our view of the world is in bull markets, you know, the whole world tends to focus on proxy metrics. Mm -hmm. So raising a round of financing can be seen as a sign of success. You know, or raising a lot of money can be seen as a sign of success. If not a sign of success, it is at least considered progress. Because you know, sometimes I'll ask founders and say, hey, why are you raising more money? You just raised three months ago or four months ago. And they'll say something like, and if I may use a Hindi phrase and I'll translate it, they'll be like, sir, achha lagta hai. You know, or my team feels happy about it. Uh, you know, it's a nice feeling. Mm. And so a lot of the rounds that people raise are not that they really need the money or that they really badly, because you know, if a company just raised six months ago, how, how come they, they need capital again in six months, you know, or three times in a year? So a, a lot of what we saw was people getting drawn to these proxy metrics of success or progress. And such markets make the conversations with founders and boards super refreshing. So every founder now is focused on growing their revenue. They're doing fewer things. Inside the building, they're more focused. Hmm. You know, they're focused on margins, on unit economics. Many are trying to get profitable. Many want to do IPOs. Uh, we were fortunate. We had 10 IPOs between last year and, uh, and a couple, you know, eight last year, a couple this year. And so when companies are getting, re getting ready to be public, then clearly they have a plan to be an enduring company. They're planning for, for decades, and it's not a short-term short decision. So I think the best founders are looking beyond a few quarters of financing pain mm. and looking far out and, um, and trying to build a solid business. And so th that's really what I see is going on. And we ask ourselves, you know, why is this a bad thing? This is terrific. So does that mean you'd prefer to be in this particular kind of economic climate, Shalindra? Well, I think there'll be market cycles. I do think such cycles, founders and VCs alike, they learn more, they apply themselves more they make more real progress. Mm. That progress often results in valuation bumps in bull markets. But the real progress gets made now in, in such times. And so, um, you know, we don't mind, you know, tough cycles. And we think founders and companies will become way more resilient and solid 
because the, because the markets force them to. And again, I think if founders have to raise their game in a tough market or economic cycle, why is that a bad thing? Mm. So what's your advice for, for people who are looking to start a business at the moment, for example? So I, I think it's a terrific time to start. In, in fact, if you think first principles, if you are not worried about a few quarters, I always ask founders the following question. The company that you're running now are planning to start, would you consider doing this for 10 or 20 years? Mm. Most say yes. Most say yes, this is my life's work, or that I really want to do this for the very long term. And if that's the case, you know, India will have you know, circa seven, eight trillion of GDP over the next decade. Mm. And we're gonna have humongous companies. Um, you know, it's, give me a it's, prediction. Sorry? Give me, give me a couple of predictions. What, what, what are we gonna see over the next few years? We've seen so many unicorns being born, becoming yeah. decahedrons or whatever you call them. But give me, give me your, your view of, of where you see India in particular going. Oh, I think we'll have dozens of billion dollar revenue companies. Mm -hmm. And probably in 10 years, more than a quarter of, Indi of India's 100 top listed companies will be tech companies within a decade. Mm. Uh, there's a few now uh, in the top 100. I think the current number might be you know, four or five. But I think a quarter to a third of all listed tech companies in India would probably be tech companies. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, you know, it's, you know, in my opinion, and, and it's a crazy privilege for us to partner with the founders who are going and building these companies, but I also speak to founders and I say, look, it's a crazy privilege for people who have a chance to build in such an environment where you, know, you have this, Im these immense tidal waves that are gonna take you along. And um, you know, in, in these turbulent times, if you will, um, while one resource, which is capital, is a little constrained, other resources are actually quite abundant. So the quality of talent you can hire uh, employee churn goes down, teams are way more motivated and inspired and aligned with each other. And so I think a lot of founders are actually really enjoying building. And they're sort of, you know, trying to say, hey, I'm up for the challenge. Mm. All right, well, let's see what those founders, yes. <laughs> we've, got, we've got a few waiting in the wings. So Shalinder, I'm gonna put you in the front row. Okay. We're gonna come back to you, get you to ask these guys a question. I'm also gonna get the audience to ask uh, a couple questions, but we'll see, let's give them a Thank round you. of applause. Thank you.